The M-scope should be powered down, turned off, prior to disassembling the unit or prior to disconnecting or swapping any of the transmitter and receiver panels. The unit comes on and then cycles off. Check the battery voltage and if below 10.9 volts, recharge the batteries completely or hook up the charging unit. The voltage must be above the 10.9 range or the unit will not come on. Remember that the M-Scope's factory default access code is 01. The default access code will remain 01 until it is changed by a user. The unit tries to come on but won't power up. Check the position of all the transmit and receive panels and make sure they're placed properly and that the top is put on correctly. There are red and green dots under the latches that are used to help with the correct placement of the panels. The unit comes on but has no display on the screen, a blue screen. Press the number 3 key on the control panel and then use the up arrow until the screen contrast returns to the desired level or press the factory preset key number 6 or any of the user preset keys 7, 8 or 9. The unit comes on but has a blocked photodiode. Disassemble the unit and reassemble it, placing the receive panels in a different order. Make sure to check for proper placement of the bases. If the unit still shows a blocked diode but in another location, the panel will need to be replaced. Make sure that the unit is placed on level ground so that the panels are parallel with each other. We recommend that bases with the leveler option be used on uneven surfaces. The unit is plugged into the charger but the voltage isn't going up. Make sure the AC plug is plugged into a live outlet and that the charger output plug is pushed all the way into the unit and making good contact. Fisher recommends that when using a handheld weapons detector in conjunction with the M-scope, the handheld operator stand approximately three feet or more from the M-scope.